What is going on guys? It's Panda here and we are back for another episode of Don't Take It Personally, babe. It just ain't your story. I don't know what that was. It didn't sort of have any particular melody whatsoever, nor did it rhyme, or it was just all in all absolutely terrible. Anyway, what's going on guys? It's Panda here. Now, today... No, hang on, let's trace back to last night. Last night, I bought Dead Space 3. And I played about five chapters. Five chapters? I think I'm up to chapter five from memory. And um, I have to say, from playing Dead Space 1 and 2, it's just not as scary. And that really disappoints me. But that's not what you're here for. But I just wanted to... You know, let you know on my opinion of Dead Space anyway. And uh, today, I bought a longboard, just for shits and gigs really. I was like, well, I got 300 bucks from my auntie for my birthday. So, which was, you know, three, four, five months ago. So I was like, fuck it, might as well spend this money. So I went and bought a longboard. And, uh... I have no idea how to skate. Yes, I, I found this fact out after I uh, tried to ride said longboard and failed miserably and fell off on my first attempt. I then proceeded to go and watch some YouTube videos on how to longboard and I did a little bit better. So, uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to go a lot better. I'm not some hipster fag that gets what um, what's in the moment. I actually only bought it because basically my friend said he wanted to longboard just cruise around town with me so I was like sure why not. Got nothing else to spend this money on so why not. That makes me sound like a rich pompous douchebag but I'm not. Hope you don't think I'm a rich pompous douchebag. I'm really not a rich pom pompous douchebag. I know some rich pompous douchebags but I'm not one of them. Okay now from where we left off this is what was happening. We had crazy music going on, which was currently very loud, so I turned it down. And this conniving bitch with that evil smirk on her face plans to completely destroy my entire life. So, this is the decision I have come to. I have decided to completely ignore what everybody said. <laughs> And the reason for that is, well, you guys, some people said um, you've completely fucked up and there's really no hope for anything, so you may as well just go for angry. Some people said angry, 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 um, just for shits and gigs. But what I'm thinking is, if I go angry, that's going to end me in a, in a bad ending. I don't want that on my first run through, on my first playthrough. So, with a... I'm doing another playthrough or not. Depends on what sort of ending I get, I guess. But, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and from the start, I'm going to be gentle with her rather than get all pissy at her from, very, from the very first. And hopefully, she's not going to bring out the whole Ah, you're sleeping with jailbait. Me, 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 me. Bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. So, uh, instead of me going back and doing everything on camera, I'm just going to uh, fast forward into the future and uh, meet you guys there. So I'll we'll see you when I get there. Okay, people, we are back. We are back. We are finally back. We are getting Doug back. Anyone knows what movie that's from? Anybody? Huh? No? No? You should know. Good movie. Mmm. Okay. So. Now we are about to, um, we are about to meet Taylor in our office. So, let's go do that. Let's, let's see how we, uh, we continue with this bitch's scheming ways. 
Right. Oh, right, of course. You want me to check 12 channel. Okay. Alright. Fine, I get it. Okay, yes, that's enough dawdling for me. Right, I let's go. Okay. Hi, Mr. Rook. Hello. Why don't you have a seat? She sits down, trembling. What's this about? Taylor, don't insult my intelligence. You know exactly what this is about. <clears throat> oh, is this about Akira? What did he tell you? He seemed really upset at the time for me. Uh, it set. Bleh, upset at me for some reason. Like he was blaming me for. Oh, hell no, you don't. I don't even want to hear what ridiculous story she's going to tell. I preempt her, deciding on my approach. How should I handle this? We are going to go for gentle this time. There's something wrong here, clearly. I don't know what her problem is, but I should be calm. I'm the mature one here. Yes, I should have thought of that the first time. Clearly, I was not mature enough to make that sort of decision. God. She's just a fucked up 17-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, and you said you were the mature one? Just called her a fucked up 17-year-old girl. Come on, just admit it. You were a jerk to him. You were a jerk to him for... what, exactly? She stops and sighs, seeming to realise she can't argue her way out. I wanted Nolan back. Is that really so wrong, Mr. Rook? I like him. I miss him. It's a funny way of showing you like someone, hurting the boy they love. Well, it's not like anything I said was wrong. It'll never work between them. Nolan isn't a fag. I know that. He knows that. But everyone pretends they're this amazing, perfect couple anyway. Have you considered the possibility that you're wrong? Or that it doesn't matter anyway? I'm not wrong. He's just dating Akira to get back at me. It's not like he's actually going to fuck him. It's just spite. I wince. Is she really so self-centered that she believes that? When they broke up, he was reduced to tears. He was devastated. Do you really think that's spite? Well, of course he cried. That faggy little boy is an exact... Nolan was reduced to tears, not a hero, so that's a funny way of showing spite, wouldn't you say? Really? Really. Hang on. Hold the phone. I just forgot something that is very important. I reached 100 subscribers. And I know I'm about two days, three days late for that, and I apologize. But, yay! Woohoo! Yes! Yeah! Yeah, thank you guys so much for um, 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I really do. I love each and every one of you this much. You can't see how far wide apart my hands are, but if I go like this and say that it's this much, and it sounds like I've got my hands stretched out really far, and that makes you think I've got them out really far, when in actual fact I don't even have my arms up and am not stretching at all, so. Really goes to show I don't love either any one of you at all. No, I'm just kidding. I love you all. So thank you. Ah, really. She goes quiet for a long time. A very long time. Well, fine. What do I care? It's all about Akira's feelings or Nolan's feelings. Oh God, she's getting bitchy already. You jump right away to defend the fucking men, but you sure don't care about my feelings, do you? Isn't that the wrong way around? No, of course. Nobody cares about my feelings. Nobody even thinks about how I feel. Lol, Taylor, stop being a bitch. I'm not allowed to be upset. Okay, so it's come to my... <laughs> it has come to my attention that whether I went with gentle or angry, she ends up being a bitch anyway, so... I could have went with angry. It would have been far more exciting. Damn it! Nobody ever rushes to defend me. Nobody ever asks me if I'm okay. I'm popular. I'm friends with everyone. I'm pretty. I go to parties. My life must be great. Fuck my life. Fuck my fucking life. I have one friend. I wear makeup because people made fun of me when I didn't. I go to parties because all I want to is find one boy. One fucking boy. Who could actually be there for me when things suck? My life sucks. Oh yes, yeah, I'm popular. Everyone always talks about me. What a crazy bitch. But at least they're saying it all the time, right? 
She stops to compose herself, and I don't say anything while she does. What can you possibly say to that? So, go ahead sir, bitch me out. Tell me how I'm the worst person, I just hurt others, and you don't care about my feelings. Fine. What's one more? She waits, expectingly how I can answer that. No, we're gonna continue with gentle just to see where it goes. So how does Trini and Kira, like, sh shit, help you with that? I guess that wasn't really gentle after all. I don't care. <laughs> well, I might have had a chance in getting Nolan back. That would have helped. That would have helped a lot. You'd break both Akira's heart and the heart of the boy you're trying to get back just for the chance of something impossible happening? Of course. What do I have to lose? And it's not like either of those two care about how I feel. Why shouldn't I be the same? I'm speechless. Just utterly speechless. I mean, I have to say something, but what is there even to say besides the obvious? Go on, say it. Everyone says it. Everyone always says it, without fail. That's the most self-centered thing I have ever heard in my life. The world doesn't revolve around you, Taylor. And there we go. Of course it's self-centered. How can I worry about other people when I can't get my own life right? I mean, how is it even possible? And, are you retarded, Mr. Rook? Of course the world possibly re world revolves around me. What else could it possibly revolve around? Everyone says that, and what the fuck? Your world revolves around you. Akira's fucking world revolves around fucking Akira. And he would fuck himself. That's just absurd, Taylor. Don't be silly. And my world revolves around me. It's the dumbest thing you could say. And yet everyone does. Everyone criticizes me for it. Oh, Taylor, don't be so self-centered. As if it's selfish to care about your own feelings. Well, of course I care about my own feelings. If I don't, who will? She stops ranting for long enough to catch everyone. Can you tell me? Who else will care about my feelings? Tell me, Mr. Rook. Who else? Who else is going to care? I don't have an answer to her question. How could I possibly answer something like that? That's what I thought. So maybe it's worth being self-centered. At least one person in this world, this world that revolves around me, should care. I mean, it's... Finally, she can't hold herself back anymore. She starts sobbing. I had wondered if this wasn't some bizarre act, but now she's crying, actually crying. There's no doubt those are real tears. She keeps wiping her face, trying to calm herself down, but completely unable to. I just... I... I... I sigh. It's the most pitiful sight I've ever seen. What? She takes a deep breath. What should I do? Tell me, what, what do you think I should do then? How should I change? What should I do differently? What will make everything better and people not always telling me I'm terrible? What should I do? I have to say something to her. I just desperately want to walk out, let this be someone else's problem, give up on dealing with this crazy teenager, but I can't. I know I can't, but how do you respond to that? What do you say? I can't give her any advice that'll suddenly make things perfect. It doesn't exist. Maybe that's what I should say. It's all about all I can. It's about all I can. Nothing will make everything better. Nothing will make everything perfect. I can't just give you a single piece of sage advice that makes everything better. I don't know how to get through to you. You just don't seem to get it. All I can say is, in order for people to be nice to you, you have to show you care first. Do what you want to others as you want them to do to you. I think that's how the saying goes. And it's a good saying. That's it. That's your advice. Lol, Mr. Rook. Lol, 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 She starts laughing nervously. Or maybe crying. It's impossible to tell. You think I haven't tried? I've tried everything with Nolan. I have no idea how many times I tried to show that I care. I always apologized, I always admitted I was wrong. I always listened to what he told me. I always... I always was there. I kept my mouth shut when he wanted me to, and kept it open when he wanted to.
I don't know if that's referring to what I think it's referring to, but in my mind, I know what my mind is thinking. And I'm sure you know what my mind is thinking too. I beg to know what I could do to make things work again. I, I care, Mr. Rob. I fucking well care. I showed it in every way possible. It wasn't enough. It's never enough. Not with him, not with anyone. She wipes her tears again, and I'm at loss. I have to break through to her somehow. It has to be possible. But did you treat him how he wanted to be treated? Of course I did. I mean, did you actually treat him how he wanted to? It doesn't mean just apologizing or going down on him. Okay, that affirms my um, assumptions. Confirms. Or nodding along. Or begging for a way to prove yourself. It means caring. And it sounds like what he really wanted from you was to just leave him alone. There's a pause. It's what everyone wants from me. It's always the same. I should just leave everyone alone. Everyone always. Do I not deserve friends? I... I can't. I can't do it. I don't know what to say to you, Taylor. I'm sorry. I just can't get through to you. I don't know what to tell you, I'm sorry, your life sucks, and I'm even more sorry you can't seem to understand why. I don't think I can help you. All I can say is, it's my job to make sure everyone in the class is a comfortable learning environment, and you're getting in the way of that. I can't tell you how to change your life, all I can tell you is that if you ever interfere with that again, I'm going to have to remove you from the class. I don't want to do that, so please, just promise me you'll stop abusing your classmates. Can you do that? She gives a long, drawn-out sigh. Of course you can't. Nobody can. Fuck my life. She wipes her face again. But okay, fine, I promise. I... It's not like anything else ever works out for me. What's one more thing? Is that all? Can I go home now? That's all. You can go now. Thank God. Oh, what a fucking nightmare she is. Right, crack out the whiskey that's in this drawer here. Let's do some work. She leaves without a single other word. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to make of it. I don't get her. I don't get what the fuck is wrong with her. And I don't know how to help. Would anyone? Was there a better approach that I just didn't think of at all? Or is it just impossible for her? I... I think she's just too self-centered to actually open up to anyone's opinion. I don't know which answer would be more depressing. That night, oh, we've got the scotch and the whiskey and the port out. Cracking a cigar in our nice high leather chair. Someone walks in the big two massive coiler doors. I've got my back turned to them. I turn around in my big chair with one hand cupping a bottle of, uh, a cup of, I don't know, scotch on the rocks. The other, holding the cigar, I turn around and say, I've been expecting you. Because you can fully do that in this sort of, you know, dorm room looking thing. Alright. What the fuck, I just heard the whole story. I thought you were just going to talk to him, not be the world's biggest jerk. That was way too cruel, Taylor. I hope you realise that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've been lying in bed for the past hour. I just can't get to sleep. Every time I started to drift off, all I could think about was how awful, awful things went today. Just absolutely awful for everyone. But before I continue, I really should check those messages. The indicator's blinking to indicate new messages for me. Uh, uh, they are? Uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, huh. Um... Wait, I didn't even know there was messages from this person. Nanasi? Tell me, John Rook. 
She wants to know why. I didn't even know. Why, John? Why? You could have saved her. You could have stopped her. Ooh. I'm not reading there. Get out of here. Right, is that it? Oh, okay. It was those ones. Alright. There we go. I should be caught up enough now. Or worse, I get woken up by these creepy, creepy messages. Who's Nansai? Is that that weird spirit lady? Or what I think is a spirit lady? Another weird mix of people in class for lunch today. Well, not that weird, I suppose. I feel tired and awful. I didn't get much sleep last night in the end. So, Taylor didn't show up for class. That's typical. Has purged her wall. I don't know what that means, but okay. It's going to delete any more abusive comments, okay? Just leave me alone if you don't have anything nice to say. Yes, please. Bitch me out too. I really wanted another person to do that. That makes me feel very happy. That's what I really need when I'm emotionally needy. Thank you, Ariana, for being a great friend. Thank you, Ariana, for not putting up with her shit. Ah, God, I hate this woman. I have an immense passionate hate for this Taylor bitch. Right, Nansai. What's with you and your whys? Lol, and not a single fuck was given that day. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not going to defend her, but she has a lot going on. She doesn't deserve that. I'm sorry, but I can't really disagree with Kendall. What she said was... What she did was just appalling. Well, I completely agree... Let's not gossip about it, guys. It's been dealt with. And I don't think what we need is more talking about her behind her back. What ifs? Alright, sorry. If you say so. But before I continue, I should really check her. Blah, 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 blah. Why? Why did you let her die? You could have saved her. Why? 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 They remind me of Isabella, of course, and I have to wonder, could I have helped her anyway? Or would things have just gone as poorly as they did with Taylor? What the hell is going on here? At least the Taylor thing is explainable. She has fucking problems. <laughs> but this, what's going on? I'm pretty sure spirits can't, like, message you. Text message you, per se. I don't think it'll be much of interest, but I have been asked specifically to pass on this message to everyone in my class. The Midwinter Dance this year is going to be held in conjunction with DCTI, a public high school a few blocks away. Ooh. Apparently this means they'll be able to afford to make it quite an extravagant affair. It is semi-formal, tickets are $80 and it's on December 7. Which isn't actually Midwinter, it's like two weeks before. Outstanding. Well, if anyone's interested, let me know. I put the note away, rolling my eyes as if there's anyone in class who would care anyway. I figure. None of them really seem like the types for school dancers. Now, moving right on to the homework from last night. Girls Before Flowers. Kendall! Hey, sir? Hi, hey, what's up? Um, well, it's about the big creative assignment. It's due next week, right? Oh, Nolan. Hey, you know, are you really still single? Did I miss something, or shouldn't you guys update your relationship status? Yes, that's right. And I can't say I'm really encouraged by that. Has he even started? Well, we had a pretty good idea for it, and we're wondering if we could do a presentation together. Yeah, for reals. It'd be great. Normally, I would say no absolutely under no circumstances. It's a huge end of term project with 30% of their grade. It's not really some small group assignment or anything. But they seem into it. Really into it. 
I don't know. What's the idea? It would be a dramatic presentation about you. About, you know, metafiction. Good chance to explore the themes of the course. Apply them to a modern top context. That sort of thing. It'd be totes rad, sir. I mean, we could do the essays, but we figured you'd want us to do something interesting instead. Yeah, you'd be a real bro if we could, sir. Well... Sounds like they actually care. Given that this is the first time I've ever seen that sort of reaction from either of them about anything school related. How can I say no? This is my chance, probably my only chance, to actually get them to engage with the class. I guess I'll have to fudge the rules. I guess I'll allow it this once. You're a bro, sir. Totes legit. We go over the details for another couple of minutes, and they go on their way. I guess it could be worse. As far as concerns go, I have bigger ones anyway. Right, Akira's not happy. I'm very unamused. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, are they still having relationship issues? Was Nolan actually telling the truth about not... Wait, no. Nolan was lying. Yes, Nolan was lying about... Um, actually liking Akira. Find out in the next episode of Don't Take It Personally, babe. Sounds like an old 80 year old man. Don't take it personally, babe. It's just saying your story. <laughs> Young skellywags. Anyway, that's it for today, my lovelies. My lovely jobless. So, um, yeah. I will see you guys next part. Bye.